to succeed. That's just the obligation that comes with it. You let a lot of people down if you quit right now. People that love you for real. Some people that'll give their life for you. Cause your mama give her life right now for her son. You understand that? But it's the, it's the pressure though. I understand the pressure, but God built us different. Did you just tell me that? I'm 23. So sometimes there's a lot put on us, but it's put on us because we're the ones that can take it. Jared may not think he can sometime. Jared may get messed up sometime, but Jared can wear these shoes. That's why Jared has it. You understand me? But Jared ain't asked for it. Too bad. Jared has a destiny that Jared can't run from. And if Jared ain't no coward, I would know that. Right? So Jared may well make up his mind and let's go. You gotta ride that horse, son. Man, this weight's feeling good. Body feels good, man. I'm gonna be honest, my back feels really good. I'm, I'm genuinely like happy with how things go so far. I full rolled before this, and I can't stress enough how stretch, how important stretching is. Um, whether it's your shoulders, hips, any of that kind of stuff. I noticed on my hips, I've been, I was neglecting them a little bit, and I started getting like a pinching feeling. So, you know, just trying to stay on top of stretching every day. Oddly enough, I, I tend to stretch my hips every day now because that feels good doing that. Open up a little bit more so not getting stiff again. Um, yeah, back day's going pretty good. Barely on the second workout, but we're killing it. About to move to another workout right now. And then probably do one more. Probably do two more back exercises. Uh, then we're gonna move on to arms and then cardio, which, you know, cardio is cardio. I'm not recording that, obviously. But it's a back day. I'll catch you guys in the kitchen later today too. We're gonna be cooking some chicken. I gotta go get some lemons. I might make like some like Chinese food, stir fry type vibe. We'll see, we'll see. I just know I want chicken with some veggies um, and a little bit of Stubbs barbecue sauce. That's the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my last set on this thing and get this moving because we got things to do. Now we are doing this machine right here. Um, this has been one of my favorite back exercises to do. It's pretty much a lap pull down, and it's all well, it's a double lap pull down. And the reason I've been liking this machine so much is because I've been struggling with my uh, my left lap for some time now, just trying to like feel it throughout the workout. Um, and I'm not saying this is the best exercise to do to fix that. I'm just saying this is what feels good to me, and this is what I prefer is doing some sort of single arm movement so I can really focus on the muscle that I'm trying to work um, and really trying to focus on that squeeze and build that mind muscle connection because I have a great mind muscle connection when it comes to um, like my chest and just other other movements but when it comes to my back my left lat sometimes and I, I struggle to feel it um, whereas like shoulders I can feel my shoulders and whatnot and I can squeeze and contract and do all that jazz but some stuff some stuff like my left quad for example I struggle so I have to do certain exercises to try to combat it in a way you know just stuff that'll benefit me 
so that's what we're doing here today. We're doing this uh, pull down. About to go crazy right now. Any of the homies pull up to hoop. Everyone's whoever that's pulled up, that looks like they are gonna hoop. Or poop. So we'll see. But yeah, we're gonna do this variant real quick. I might have Slim record me on a set or two. All right, as you can tell, it is very dark. We just got done at the gym. So I didn't actually end up doing arms. I'm just gonna do them tomorrow morning. Uh, but I did kill my back and I ended up playing basketball. So that's why I didn't do arms. I just ended up doing a ton of cardio. But we are doing arms tomorrow. We have to do arms. We're doing arms two to three times a week, bare minimum. And I haven't hit triceps and biceps. So that's gonna be my, my three times, so I'm saying. So I'm gonna go crazy tomorrow, hit chest and arms. So I, I don't know if I'll record that, but just know that's the move. But um, hoops is cool, man. Uh, I played for like the last two hours. So my legs are pretty, pretty cooked, I'm not gonna lie. My body overall feels pretty good. Man, my back is like cooked though. Like I have not, like, I, I don't know. I just feel like I, I freaking destroyed my muscle fibers and my lats and my back and my rhomboids and my trapezoidus rex and everything. Everything is just ruined, but I'm going to Albertsons right now. I'm gonna be honest, today was not the best day. Um, it was really nice to go into the gym though and just have that motivation, but like just other stuff that affected today, bro. It's just like annoying and I almost caved in and went to go get Wingstop, but I realized, you know, I don't want Wingstop. I do want something to pick me up. So we're going to go to Albertsons right now and find a little snacky snack to cheer ourselves up a little bit because <sighs> I'm, I'm feeling down, man. I'm feeling down and you know what? It's, it's, it's normal to feel down and it's normal to want to have something to comfort you but what you choose to comfort you is what's going to make the difference so we're going to go to the store right now we're going to take a look i was going to go with the 20 piece wing stop cajun slash mango habanero wing deal <sighs> then i thought to myself you know what i'm acting on the emotion right now this isn't going to get me where i want to be 1600 calories just for the 20 piece wings and only 100 grams of protein roughly and i'm like you know what it's not worth it man yeah i don't feel good you know today was rough but that doesn't mean i have to let it affect other things you know like i want to be i want to be i want to be fit i want to be skinny again i want to be john i want to be jim john the one that everyone everyone knows um not that i care so much for other people's opinions but just like I don't know why I chose to park right in front of these people. I'm actually gonna like awkwardly reverse back and look, they're probably thinking I'm a psychopath, but like, I, I don't I don't wanna park next to them, but um, that was probably kind of mean. But yeah, instead of acting on emotion, man, we're gonna act on emotion still, but we're gonna make smart decisions. So really we're acting on emotion, we're just making good decisions, so. W on my part. I'll take that as a W. And they're looking at me because they see me vlogging. But you know what? It is what it is, so. We got subs. We got to keep. But yeah, we're here. I thought this was Albertsons, but I lied. It's actually Safeway. Let's fix the... Oh my God, I look ugly. Let's raise that back up. There we go. So now we're here at Albertsons. We're gonna find some pick-me-ups. It's looking a little too. There we go. And we'll see what they got. So they got the buy two, get one free. I'm not sure if I'm, oh, those pineapple chunks look fire though. I'm looking for the, yes, sir. This is what I'm looking for. Let me get two of them Johns, yes, sir. And then we're gonna go back with the pineapple. W Fitness. I'm gonna go get a cart. I hope they don't think I'm stealing. Jesus. I shouldn't have said that so loud. We're grabbing a cart though. Alright, so we got fruit. That's gonna be part of our little pick me up. Now we're gonna take a look around and see what they got. They got, oh, they don't got no bagels or donuts. That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk, no sir. 
Let's see what the move is. Oh, they got deals on steak or chicken. Ain't no way this $37 for four steaks is crazy though. That's a fire deal. Guys, it is your boy John. So I was gonna upload this video a lot sooner, but unfortunately, we had some unfortunate things happen to uh, my phone and I have a new phone, an iPhone 14 Pro Max, so feels nice, man. Brand new phone, which means the camera quality is so much better, which I love, but I really just wanted to upload this video, how it is, you know, because one, the beginning part just means a lot to me, and um, I can't, I don't, ch I choose to not speak out too much on what life has been like for me or the things that have happened in my life because you know, those things are, are personal. And, you know, I, I also just believe in, you know, privacy and not just for me, but for the people that I love and family and all that, you know? Um, but what I'm trying to say is, sorry, there's a shirt drying right there. I like to air dry clothes, okay? We're not with the whole dryer and then ruins the clothes. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I try not to speak or say too much just because, you know, I, I, it's just no point, man. There's no point. I don't want to spread hate. I don't want to do anything, you know, like, I just want to be me. I just want to be free and I don't know, man, just be happy. And, you know, a lot of people are unhappy with their lives that they like to talk about others and get involved in other people's businesses. And, you know, it's just a whole ordeal. I'm going to set the camera down. Actually right here should be good but uh yeah man so i'm gonna be honest with you guys i the last year that's my cat luna she's screaming at me right now let me put on my shorts real quick and i'll talk to you guys this last year has been pretty difficult um there's been a lot of things that have been going on and you know it's not until recently that i feel like I've started to feel more like myself, you know, the John that you guys knew when I was losing weight and all that, I haven't been able to be that guy, the same person. I haven't been able to be in that headspace or to just be in the gym and, you know, be consistent, all these things. And you know, it's no one's fault. It's not life's fault. It's nothing. It's my own fault, but I just have not put myself in the environment to do that. And I've been dealing with a lot man and you know it's not until these last two months or so i've started to feel more like myself and more like that john that i know and started doing little things for myself i mean i even have a packet of protein you know but to make a long story short i'm uploading this video and i'm um just being more proactive i'm starting to do more things for me and just trying to be a better version of myself. And, you know, it's, it's only, you can say a thing a million times and just not end up doing it. And in a lot of cases, that's, that's how it's been, man. Um, so, yeah, man. But I just wanted to upload this video because I don't want to be that. I, I don't want to be someone that lost weight, gained it all back, and that's the end of me. And I just never do anything great with my life and everything just goes downhill and I lose the part of me that I spent 21 years trying to find. And I can't do that. I can't, I can't lose myself. Um, you know, I've always been the type of person that no matter what happens, I'm just gonna strive through and, and just persevere and I, it's time that I go back to that. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. I, I know it's a lot to say, especially at the end of the video and it's, you know, but <laughs> it's what I mean. And I mean every single word of it. So I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate you guys um, commenting and asking me where the videos are. This is one of the videos, so I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. So, peace. It's your boy, Jim John. I love you guys. 
See you guys in the next video. Coming at you soon.